Good afternoon, everybody. I want to uh, welcome you all to Brockton City Hall. I do want to apologize uh, for the rain. We would typically be outside when we do our uh, flag raising. Uh, today is Bolivian Independence Day. Uh, and again, as you know, the city of Brockton has always been made up of wonderful, wonderful diversity uh, from all around the, the world. And so today we honor all of our Bolivian residents and Bolivian business owners that have made an indelible mark on our city of champions. I do want to uh, thank the elected officials that are here. We have Judy Sullivan and Tim Sullivan, not related, from the uh, Brockton Public Schools, the school committee, two really dedicated public servants. So Judy and Tim, thank you for being here today. You know, we do, uh, we do a lot of these flag raisings to, again, memorialize and thank diversity in our city. And BCA comes to every single one. So I want to thank Brockton Community Access for always supporting us. So today we celebrate the country of Bolivia and the Independence Day, August 6th in the year 1825. Uh, after 16 years of war, Bolivia finally defeated the nation of Spain and gained its independence. Bolivia, if you don't know, because I needed to look it up, is a landlocked country in Western Central America. I didn't know it was landlocked. But Bolivia is historically deemed a, uh, a lower uh, economic country. It currently has the fastest fastest growing economy and business in all of South America. It really is on the rise. Bolivia's main economic activities, other than agriculture, are forestry, fishing, mining, manufacturing goods as textiles, clothing, refined metals, uh, and also refined petroleum and gases. Uh, the nation is very rich in minerals, including lithium, copper, and silver. Bolivia produces almost 10 million tons of sugar cane per year and is the 10th largest producer of soybean, soybean in the entire world. Other products uh, manufactured and, and grown in, in, the, uh, in the nation are potatoes, bananas, rice, and wheat. Bolivian flag, which we're probably gonna raise in just a moment, is a horizontal tricolor of red, yellow, and green, with the Bolivian coat of arms in the center of the flag. The red stands for Bolivia's brave soldiers that have paid the ultimate sacrifice during their independence battle, the green symbolizes fertility and the fertility of the nation and the growth of all the uh, economic uh, fruits and vegetables that are grown there. And finally, the yellow is the nation's mineral deposits, which we talked about a little bit earlier. Of course, in the center, what, uh, what memorializes the flag itself is the coat of the arms of the country of Bolivia. So today, in terms of diversity, when I became mayor, I've said this many times, when I became mayor, I, I wanted to showcase all different uh, residents and business owners in our fine city. And so when you walk into the mayor's office, it, uh, it might have my name up there, but this is the people's office. You walk in, you'll see all the flags up there. Uh, they get flipped out quarterly, uh, but again, we have purchased, uh, to date, over 72 flags from around the world that uh, indicate people that live in the city of Brockton or work in the city of Brockton, again, that make our city of champions what it is. So today, the official mayoral proclamation reads as follows. Whereas, after valiantly fighting the Bolivian War of Independence for 16 years, uh, Bolivia became free from Spanish rule on August 6th in the year 1825. Whereas, Brockton's greatest strength is in our diverse population of our residents and our business owners and those that have come and immigrated from Bolivia. And whereas the city of Brockton, what we deem the city of champions, has truly been greatly enriched by the introduction of Bolivian customs, foods, and culture, heritage, legacy, and traditions, which were brought here to our city by the immigrants from Bolivia, who have, again, truly made our city of champions just that. Whereas it is an honor to truly recognize the accomplishments and contributions of all citizens in our fine city of Bolivian ancestry to extend to them best wishes, the continued success or prosperity, and also a sincere thank you for coming to the city of Brockton. Now therefore I, Robert F. Sullivan, as mayor of the city of Brockton, proudly proclaim today, the sixth day of August in the year 2023 as Bolivian Independence Day. I respectfully and humbly urge all residents in our fine city to please join me, join me in observing this special day and I proudly sign it and seal it again the 6th day of August in the year uh, 2023. Want to also, yeah, you can give a clap. That was good. <laughs> I want to thank uh, the city clerk, Tim Cruz, who doesn't, he never misses a flag raising. 
I want to thank all the department heads and employees uh, of the city and schools that are here. I want to thank Brockton Police for always supporting us and keeping the, uh, the citizens and business owners safe as they protect and serve. And I want to thank those that are visiting us today. At this time, I would uh, respectfully ask you to join me and we're going to raise the flag of Bolivia. Again, I, I do apologize that we're uh, unable to be outside today. Um, next year, we uh, will have a sunny day. But I wanted to also, I wanted to present this to you. Again, uh, we will be seeing you tomorrow for another flag raising tomorrow as the nation of Colombia. Uh, but again, uh, we are the city of champions because of our uh, diversity and all the, uh, all the dedicated, wonderful immigrants that have come to make our city so special. So God bless each and every one of you. God bless Bolivia, our United States of America, and of course our city of champions. Have a great day. Thank you.